it's not who I am. I don't condone and you know, any type of violence, um, but I take you know full responsibility you know for my actions. Um, made a you know bad mistake, um, and I can see uh, the image you know that I, I painted you know over myself you know with my recent mistakes. But you know in the future, um, I'm gonna show everybody who John really is. There was always something about this small segment that just didn't sit right with me from the jump. I mean, I know Ja felt like he had to apologize, but was this really the way to do it? While apologies pacify a small minority, for a lot of people, actions speak louder than words. And Ja Morant's recent actions have some questioning if that sit-down interview with Jalen Rose even meant anything. Ja Morant has had a lot of unique things happen to him in his short four-year NBA career, and I can safely say that what has been transpiring lately is not something that I saw coming, especially after this man earned himself a five-year, $194 million contract less than a year ago. That is generational money. Ja has won individual awards, made a couple of all-star teams, and even helped to transform the Grizzlies into the team that we see before us today. This guy has exceeded almost every expectation, and yet for whatever reason, he's been on the verge of throwing everything that he worked for away. Let's just say that the Ja Morant situation has gotten a whole lot uglier, but first, today's content is brought to you guys by Prize Picks. For those that don't know, prize picks is by far the easiest way to play daily fantasy in states such as California, Georgia, Texas, Florida, and more. Prize picks is mad easy, mad fun, and super rewarding if you know hoops. As you can see by this lineup that I'm putting in, you don't have to spend a lot to win big. What prize picks does is it puts you against the projections to make these already epic games 50 times more interesting. And now, whenever you sign up using code Coop, you'll get your initial deposit instantly doubled. So remember guys, use code Coop and thank you prize picks for sponsoring today's content. A few months back, Ja went on IG Live and showed a weapon inside a nightclub just hours after the Grizzlies lost to the Denver Nuggets. Obviously, the NBA wouldn't like this, which led to them concluding their own investigation to get to the bottom of things. The NBA eventually concluded that while Ja was intoxicated when he flashed the weapon, there was no way to actually prove that the weapon was his, which of course was good news for Ja. This original gun incident sent shockwaves throughout the entire NBA universe and was something that certainly shocked the Memphis Grizzlies and all of the higher ups of the NBA, including Adam Silver, who had a stunning response to Ja's second gun incident. Shortly after all of this transpired, Ja would enter counseling while also announcing that he would be taking time away from the NBA and the Grizzlies to focus on his quote, overall well-being. Hearing this was an eye-opener for a lot of people, because even those who were harsh in their criticism of Ja can understand how important that mental health can be in this day and age when it isn't being used as an excuse, which is very sadly a thing. Now, unfortunately, this wouldn't be the first time that Ja has struggled with mental health problems. A couple of years ago, Ja opened up about some mental health struggles that he dealt with during and after the NBA bubble. To quote Ja, I was overthinking a lot, I was getting down, but I don't tell nobody none of that stuff and anytime anybody asks me are you okay, I always say I'm good even if I'm not. He continued saying that I used to do stuff on my own, it was definitely tough on me. I'm not saying that I was ready to leave the bubble but I was. I feel the word now people say it's toxic and I feel that it is. It can go either way. You probably either get through it or go down even more. You can call it relative, but at least in my opinion, it's evident that Ja has been through a lot. This is the same man that said, you don't realize that you're drowning when you're trying to be everybody's anchor. This would be a super relatable quote from a player that has clearly had their own share of problems. At the end of the day, Ja is only human. He's going to make mistakes, but like every other human, he's going to have to pay for those mistakes. Ja flashing a gun inside of that nightclub would cause him to get suspended from all team activities. Adam Silver would call Ja's first nightclub gun flashing incident irresponsible, reckless, and potentially very dangerous. Silver would continue by saying that Ja's behavior could have serious consequences given his enormous following and influence, particularly among young fans that look up to him. To round things out, Silver would show a level of understanding that you'd like to see from a commissioner, saying that Ja has also made it clear to me that he's learned from the incident 
and that he understands his obligations and responsibility to the Memphis Grizzlies and the broader NBA community extend well beyond his play on the court. Those Silver's initial words were strong. Initially, Ja would only get suspended 8 games by the NBA, which I really feel like was not that harsh of a suspension. In my opinion, that suspension was well deserved and yes, I know that some people don't want to hear that, but at least to me, it's true. When you're in the NBA, making the amount of money that most people dream of, as Charles Barkley said, there are just certain things that you can't do. And unfortunately, what Ja did was one of them. Now get this. Just two months after Ja was suspended by the Grizzlies for flashing a weapon on social media, Ja turned around and did the exact same thing and is quite possibly on the verge of facing a much, much harsher penalty. Where do we even begin with this one? After the Memphis Grizzlies were eliminated in the first round of the playoffs at the hands of the Los Angeles Lakers, Ja would acknowledge this season's drawbacks and what went wrong for the Memphis Grizzlies. In doing this, he would talk about how his poor leadership affected the team. And, at least at the time, what he said seemed really encouraging. He said, I feel like my problems are more off the court and on the court. Just being disciplined on both sides. Off the court making better decisions, on the court being locked in even more. Being a leader of this team, it pretty much starts with me. So however I attack my situation, I know my guys will follow. I've just got to be better in that area. Now while actions will always speak louder than words, it was still nice to see a very young man in Ja as the best player on his team, owning his faults and expressing that he'd make better decisions moving forward. With Ja saying all of the right things and showing a bit of remorse, honestly, I thought it would be a while before he'd have another incident that could get him suspended. But obviously, that would not be the case. Ja would go on to flash his gun again this time on his friend's IG Live and what really did look to be an accident in the sense that Ja just did not know that his friend was live. As soon as his friend sees that Ja is flashing that gun, he tries to get Ja out of the frame as fast as possible. Which would bring me to the question if Ja really didn't know that he was live, why does he not know? Maybe it's a good idea to tell your famous friend that he's on live. Maybe I'm being a bit naive, but I feel like telling anybody that you're with that you're live, famous or not, should be a common courtesy. Regardless, it's safe to say that bad decisions were made that day. This bad decision will lead to Ja posting and then eventually deleting a cryptic IG story that mentioned some of his closest family members. Weirdly, this story would end with him just saying bye. This story, mixed with everything going on, would lead to the police conducting a welfare check on Ja. The police would end up saying that he was fine, but of course, this wouldn't be the end of the situation. As a matter of fact, it feels like this whole situation is just getting started. Adam Silver would comment on this whole debacle ahead of the 2023 NBA lottery. He said that he was shocked when he first saw the video and that the league was in the process of investigating what happened. Now, of course, Silver would have much more to say than just that. Well, we, we talked directly about the consequences first before we got to a subsequent um, potential to have done something wrong. We were very focused on the misconduct that was in front of us at the time. And, and frankly, most of our conversation was about how incredibly serious the first incident was. Um, could have injured, maimed, killed himself, someone else with an act like that. And also the acknowledgement that, as you said, he's a star. I mean, he has an incredibly huge following. Yeah. We're in the process of investigating it. Um, and we'll figure out exactly what happened to the best we can then. It's again, it's the video's a bit grainy and all that, but I'm assuming the worst, you know, and, uh, but we'll, we'll, fi we'll figure out, you know, exactly what happened there. With this reaction, you could tell that Silver was more disappointed than anything. You could also tell that Ja Morant might just be heading towards a very lengthy suspension. Ahead of game one of the NBA Finals, Silver would give us a very telling update about where he stood on Ja Morant's upcoming suspension. To quote Silver, we've uncovered a fair amount of additional information. We probably could have brought it to a head now, but we've made the decision that it would be unfair to these players and these teams to announce that decision in the middle of this series. Yikes, I don't know about you guys, but to me, 
that does not sound good. Adam Silver is really out here building hype for a suspension. If I was Ja, I would probably be a bit worried. According to Windhorse, the indication is that this suspension will be significant. And according to Amico Hoops, people around the league believe that Ja will be suspended for no less than the first half of the regular season. With the hype around Ja's suspension only continuing to grow, his camp would find the need to do some damage control, saying that the gun that Ja showed in the recent IG Live was only a toy gun. To quote a report from The Breakfast Club, Adam Silver is still going to go through with the suspension, looking like it should be 30 games, even though the NBA knows that it was only a toy gun. Guys, in the comments below, let me know if you think that Ja Morant was actually holding a toy gun. You know what, let's just play ball and say that it was a toy gun. How much does this change the entire situation? If these damage control reports are real, then I'm not mad at Ja's camp because Adam Silver probably understands at this point that he has to make a move to protect the NBA and its reputation. With every day that passes, it's harder for me to believe that Ja's suspension won't be pretty harsh. And the commissioner cracking jokes about the situation really doesn't make me feel any better about that. And you know who carries the ball more than anybody? Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. Absolutely, commissioner. A absolutely. You know what? I'm going to get Sandler to do a PSA for the NBA on an anti-carrying program. Thank you. It could have a double meaning, by the way. Yeah, the John Morant anti-carrying. Absolutely. I got it, Commissioner. Hey, uh, I know you got a busy day. Thank you for uh, taking time. Now, while Silver has been going on this John Morant press tour, he's made it very clear that he doesn't like the connotation that comes with sending a message. Quite frankly, he believes that when people say that, there's this undertone that he's not going to be fair to the individual and i completely understand that but as i said earlier i still think that a message is going to be sent which is almost ironic considering that silver is worried about ja using his time away from the game for the wrong reasons apparently silver wants to put together a whole program to combat this silver said he doesn't want to do something where ja just does a few sessions and then all of a sudden he's back again Regardless of what happens, I'm rooting for Ja. I hope that his upcoming time off leads to him staying off of social media and also leads to him just bettering himself in general. Let me know what you guys think of everything down in the comments below. Clicking the video on the screen right now is a great way to support my channel. I'm Get Like Coop bringing you guys the scoop until our next upload.